So you love yourself so much that you want to give yourself to this. That's trusting the process is, is that the, your yes is your love declaration. A fool for this, you know? So, you know, so, so the big S takes place over the little S. What? You can go upstairs. You want to go see? Go see. No? Okay. You want to lay down? She got scared. Of, she heard, like, this house has different floors. You can lay down, honey. You're fine. You're fine. Um, my doggy. You know, everything just being welcomed. That doesn't mean that you like it. You know, it's a really different kind of um, um, attitude. To, to have a yes for things, even if you don't like it. It's not like making it okay and nullifying it again. It's more like you're energetically so open and your capacity has grown so much to where you, you feel like your, your space that you are is, is large. And it's so large that it contains this uncomfortableness that's appearing. You know, as you all know, I was in a bad car accident. That was a big journey. I'm still coming back, you know, for those who, don't, who know. And so that was, you know, there was never a moment where there was a no. There was just some serious uncomfortable moments for sure. But it wasn't a no if that makes sense. So, you know, realization doesn't get you that get out of jail card free, as you've heard that term. It just means that you're, let's say you're in jail, you're in jail. <laughs> you're in jail. And you're really there. That's the difference. And pe some people may say, well, and they have a right to ask, well, what's the benefit of awakening? What's the, if, if all you get is, is reality with, without, you know, a nice pink layer over it or gold stars. Well, first of all, that's not quite all the way true. It's not like that's all you get. Being, being unencumbered with the lack of having a self that overlays the moment is um, the way it's meant to be. That's how animals are, right? They don't have a self overlaying the moment, trees, nature. That's why we love being around them, right? It reminds us there are teachers. Naked, nakedly here. That's how we're meant to live. And um, the, the bliss that can come, they say Satchitananda, you know, the Ananda part. So the bliss that can come um, from being here fully, it can appear in the moment, but it's, it really becomes normalized because, um, so remember what I said about how, when, when you have realizations or awakenings or understandings, ahas, that the difference between your former state and the state that you've, that you've made a leap to that, that change in consciousness can create these byproducts where you feel maybe 
like, you know, sort of high or in a good way. <laughs> the, the healthy high. Um, I just let someone else in. So, um, what time is it? Yeah. Um, that, that, and then you normalize, right? You normalize. And then it's like you went up a floor in, in your own building. <laughs> you know, like, oh, it's a view here. Oh, that's so cool. There's a view I can see. And then you get used to the view, right? And then you get another floor up high <laughs> as more unwinding and releasing and you you're it's, like, uh, it's just a metaphor you're just getting closer to your to the to the big s right to to the true nature unveiled it will have byproducts the byproducts meaning that you'll have uh, you're we're, we're made of senses we are sensing beings so as our senses um become more freed to without even that it can be freed up the body right gets freed to be in direct impact have a direct impact of the undivided nature it will go through this kind of like little wow and that's what they call it, like the the byproducts of awakening Woo. and then it normalizes so um so the bliss of of being here in um unencumbered like just with, with reality when people say well what's the point well after you get over the bliss of it all the point is the destination was always your home and your home finally so how can you actually say that home should give you a point to its existence to its nature that it's that it's a f wish fulfillment tree it's just itself and um and when you're home you're home and at some point you stop saying i'm home i'm home i'm home i'm home 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 lucky me home 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 good job i'm home <laughs> at some point it's over <laughs> and it's just home you know and it's just you don't even think of it right right just as all the other adjustments that you've made in your life of understandings and releases and freedoms and all that they get normalized except that there's no more elevator going up after that When you're home, you're home. What? How much more home can you be? Well, doesn't mean learning doesn't stop happening. How about um, just nature? But the body and the mind and the heart and all that, they don't need to keep going through a bunch of adjustment periods to be fully here anymore. There's got to be an end to that process at some point, right? And I'm not saying that, you know, yes, of course, the divine is infinite. and and. Um, on some, it's a different kind of growth that takes place. It's not the growth that is helping you get out of, get in alignment and, and in sync. So in order to do all this, you have to trust the process. 